they said they filled it in with, with foam. And they fixed the forehead with speck. It's the same kind of stuff you used to fill nails in the wall. You believe that? I didn't think they'd be able to get it to look better. But Dab Gannett, they did. They did. She looked like an angel. <laughs> On behalf of High Oak Mutual, I would like to convey the deepest of sympathies and condolences as you deal with the passing of your daughter, Charlene. I just have a few questions for you that my company requires when a policy this large is adjusted. Sure. Sure, no problem. Mr. Munson, it is unusual to have a quarter million dollar policy taken out on a 23-year-old woman. What were the reasons for taking out such a large policy on your daughter, Charlene Munson? My whole family's insured at that level and higher. Why would I treat my daughter any different? We appreciate your business. Were you aware of any pre-existing condition, medical or otherwise, that could have led to the untimely death of your daughter, Charlene Munson? Is there a pre-existing condition that causes a person's skull to crack or their brains to be all mushed up? Is there? Well, is there? I am not aware of such a condition, but that does not preclude said condition from existing. It could quite possibly be. Listen, man, I'm sorry for the questions. I hate to ask them, I really do. But why don't you do both of us a favor? And just answer yes or no. That way you can get your settlement and I can get out of your hair, all right? Now please, just sit back. We're almost done. My daughter's worth all more. Yes, I know, I agree with you 100%. But don't think for a second that I wouldn't do everything in my power to bring her back if I could. Have any other members of your immediate family or close relations suffered from similar conditions that caused the untimely death of your daughter, Charlene Munson? That caused the untimely death to your daughter, Charlene Munson? No, sir. Not to my knowledge, no. Thank you for your cooperation. You'll be getting a few letters in the mail. We'll need an official copy of the death certificate, not a photocopy. And if possible, we'd love to have a photograph of the girl in her casket and interment. No! After several days in Los Angeles, the circumstances surrounding these claims can no longer be ignored. I would feel remiss in my duties as an adjuster if I did not completely evaluate the situations surrounding the claims, and one in particular has been troubling me. Reoccurring mention of something called the hump. Preliminary inquiries have produced an ill-fated low-income housing proposition called the Human Urban Management Project with scale model. A certain Dr. Isaac Pionkov proposed filing the poor, needy, and homeless into tubular structures that reached into higher dimensions, thereby economizing valuable gentrified inner city real estate and hiding the unsightly tenements now popular with the homeless and needy. <sighs> One can't help but admire the man's ambition and creativity. The project was shelved and considered to be inhumane by the Urban Development League, after which Dr. Pionkov mysteriously disappeared. It should also be noted that the spacing between the housing tubes directly corresponds to the relative spacing between the bristles and all hairbrushes produced after 1994. I will continue to investigate the surfacing of this phenomenon as it pertains to the insurance claims. Anything else resulting from my inquiries will be on my own time and forfeit of my per diem. <sighs> Who 
Who are you talking to? Quiero practicar mi español. What's that? El hump. What? Um, quite possibly the single most overlooked concept in reurbanization, Liliana. Oh. Okay, dinner's ready. Mmm. Espresso. So how's your work going, Mr. Jorgensen? Muy bien, gracias por preguntar. Pas algo. Listen, man. Is, is my accent that bad? I'm like fourth or fifth generation or some shit, man. I don't really speak Spanish. Okay. What is it you do again? I'm looking into several death benefit claims stemming from lethal lobotomies. Lobotomies? That's when they, they, they cut out some of your brains, right? You what? So they were murdered? Possibly. Murdered? Why would someone do something like that? Uh, eat your food! Well, if you don't catch them, then at least we know they'll get what's coming to them, right? I'm not really meant to catch anyone. So, so, so they just like cut out the brain, and then did they, 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 they eat it or what? Stop talking like that, Daddy. You're gonna get the devil in the house. Probably would kill some of those poor people, some crazy devil cult or something. You believe in the devil, Jorgensen? I don't know. I don't really think about it. Yeah, he does, Dad. He's a good man. I saw a picture of his mother on the dresser. He's a good, devil-fearing man. Isn't that right, Mr. Jorgensen? It's not my mother. Your aunt? It's a woman I killed in 1998. I was doing medical claims back then. And I denied her an operation. I saved the company $40,000, got a promotion. She died of kidney failure. Hey, it's Sharky. Good to see you, man. Thanks for coming out. Really appreciate it. I know you locals get busy and all. But at least you can see I wasn't kidding about the donuts. Mm. Well, what's this all about? Why couldn't you just come down to my office? Well, it's like this. I've gone off pretty. <laughs> what's, what's next? I'll bet that you're using your VR for your personal logs. Am I right? Well, it's all on the books, so I can't officially waste company time on this. That's why I had to drag you down here. Okay, got the coffee and donuts. I'm listening. I understand your office is handling the medical claims on a number of lobotomies. Yeah, so? So you don't think that's strange? The shit I see would blow your mind. Jorgie, you don't mind if I call you Jorgie, do you? Jorgie? Sure, why not? I heard that uh, one of them is still lucid. I think her name is Marty. Yeah, she's a druggie or something. Her brains were so fried from the junk, <laughs> the lobotomy. <laughs> so can she still hold a conversation? More or less from what I remember. Did anyone ask her what happened? Oh no, not my problem. I was wondering if, if you could do me a favor and get me in to see those kids. For what? It sort of relates to a death benefits claim that I'm dealing with. Sort of? Can't you just go in and see them I yourself? Can't. You're under lock and key, and it's only family members that need to see you. I need to be you for a day. 
<laughs> you know, if I had a nickel for every time somebody wanted to be me, the first thing you gotta do is stick your stomach out like this and say, claim denied. Can you do that? Claim denied. Marty, I'd like to ask you a few questions. And it's very important that you concentrate and answer them, okay? Oh, so serious. Everyone is so serious. Oh. Marty? Whatever. Can you remember who did this to you? What's the last thing you remember before the hospital? What is it? It took me out. It's like the womb, all warm and nice. And then you can't stand it. It hurts, it hurts, you start to scream. You scream for help, and you can't move. And then, really? Who did this to you? <laughs> Who did this to you, Marty? Just give me a name. <laughs> Tell me about that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to leave now. Well, I could maybe come back at another time. Sorry. It's okay. I can come back later. Okay. Well, I'd like to drink some coffee sometime. I mean, I'd like to drink some coffee with you. I mean, drink some coffee with you and talk about the uh, kids with us. I really can't do that. You can't because... Dr. Patient. Jorgensen, personal log. Renting a room to save on per diem and pricey hotel accommodations has proven entirely bootless. The whitewashed Guerrero family has seemingly lost all linguistic, culinary, and other relative ties to their country of origin. Turning my personal agenda to resurrect my high school Spanish into an uncomfortable and awkward situation. Oddly enough, however, the patriarch has managed to carry over an irrational fear of the devil, El Diablo. But he wouldn't know what that means. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. 
they've resulted to proselyte and guerrilla tactics. Expertly squirreling three by five scriptural reference cards in my underwear drawer. Something is happening in Los Angeles, and at times an adjuster may be required to expend his own personal funds and personal resources to balance the scales in the process of conducting company business. In this case, I don't think turning in receipts will be sufficient. I hope the last known address for Dr. Pionkov will be worth it. Is something the matter? No. Just thinking. Would you like to talk about it, Liliana? Okay. I looked up some verses for you. About? The devil. Do you think that lady you killed went to hell? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, I'm looking for an address. For what? For whom? A Dr. Isaac Pionkov. Sorry, boss. The bones say no. He ran something called the Human Urban Management Project. You got something on that? The what? The hump. <coughs> Haven't heard that one in a while. <coughs> so you got something? I can refer you to some notaries, land deeds, tax liens, government auctions. Help you find a lost love. I can even find the information about an adoption. But as far as a hump, you can't have it. What is your name? Lester Jones. Did you know that cancer is the second leading cause of death in America? Judging by the smell of you, your multiple pack a day habit puts you into an extremely high risk situation. Now, I'm sorry to bother you with these taxonomies, but it seems to me that you will be dead relatively soon, Lester Jones. Upon your unfortunate demise, Jenny and Justin Jones, your sole beneficiaries, will collect $45,000 plus funeral expenses. Now that can take 24 hours or 24 years, depending on what I type into my little PDA. I'm an adjuster for I.O. Mutual.
Hi. I'm looking for a man named Dr. Piankov. No, no. There's nobody here by that name. Dr. Piankov is long gone. What are you doing out here? Mind your own goddamn business, would you? Okay. Can I help you? No, no chance. I drove a, a long way to find Dr. Piankov. It's very important that I speak with him. So if you know where I can find him, I would really appreciate it. Are you Dr. Pianco? So is this it? Is this the hump? You don't know anything. Okay. That's fair. But I would like to know. If you knew about this, your head would explode. I think I can handle it. Just here for some information. Information. Well, hospitality, whatnot. Take it. Good, huh? <laughs> what is that? Ah, just some homemade brew. I have a problem, Doctor. There are some kids in town who are showing up with some botched lobotomies, and I was hoping you could tell me something about it. I think it has something to do with the hump. I really need to know what's going on. Tell me. Now listen to me. There are beings beyond time and space who take pleasure bathing in human blood. We are nothing to them. And to comprehend them is everything.
Jorgensen personal log. Dr. Piankov turned out to be a peyote pushing Houdini. And once again, I've been left empty handed. But the night is still young. Jorgensen log of day's activities. With my extra time tonight, I'll use my experience in sales to help boost IO Mutual's performance in sunny Southern California. Helen? Dr. Gupta, what brings you down here? Can I speak with the outside for a moment? I don't think you'll mind. Please. You've been spending a lot of off-hour time here. Is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, everything is fine. Uh, I just... I just have noisy neighbors, so it, it doesn't make sense to sit around home. Besides, I mean, we are understaffed, and I like to pitch in wherever I can. Okay. Okay. I just want to make sure no one's giving you problems. I'm sorry, I, I have to ask. This business with the, the Tsunami Beach Club, evidently there is no such place at the address you gave them. So I have to ask. It, it's a stressful job, and by now we're all just different shades of crazy. But I have to know, do you consider yourself to be in a clear mental space? Yeah, I'm fine. And if I were to do a count check on the pharmaceutical cabinets? Everything would be fine. And this business with the Tsunami Beach Club. I must have made a mistake. I misunderstood. So? There is no Tsunami Beach Club. OK. Very good. Water under the bridge then, right? Very good. Have a nice night. Jorgensen. Log of day's activities. After our sales lead generation for Lucy Baumgartner, currently covered under C2 term life insurance plan, looking for possible referral to health and dental. Jorgensen, we got a problem. What? I found another one. 
Hole in the head, just like what the other. What are you talking about, Jordison? Are you still in L.A.? Yeah. But... You should have had that wrapped up a long time ago. Where the hell are you? I went to a client's house to generate a sales lead. And I found her dead body in the entryway. Well, it sounds like you've generated some shit now, haven't you? The door was open, so I just let myself in. I know it's not standard operating procedure, Jesus, but... Jesus, Jorgeson, that's illegal. Listen, Bob. I know I'm operating outside of parameters, but I went off per diem, and this is strictly on my own time. I think something is going on here with these kids and their lobotomies. And there's this thing called the hump that I think might be behind Shit, all of Shit, and I don't need to hear this. So you broke into somebody's house? Yeah. And this somebody is Lucy Baumgartner, who also happens to be a policyholder, believe it or not. Coincidence? What's the policy? What? The policy! How much was the policy? To C2, 150. Okay. Do the cops know that you broke into this woman's house and found her dead body? No. Good. Let's keep it like that. Now, here's what I want you to do. Do they got a backyard? Yeah. Well, you bury the body and you mess up the backyard a bit so it doesn't look like a grave. What? And then I want you to hop on the next budget fight back here to Des Moines. You got me? Iowa Mutual's damn near bankrupt as it is. We're way over quoted for that area right now. And it's not even the third quarter yet. I don't know what the fuck is going on out there in Southern California, and I don't care. But we've been getting these wild claims out there for several months now. And if I don't make my quota, it affects my whole department. We're gonna have to downsize to make the numbers work. Are you reading me, Jerkison? Are you reading me, Jerkison? Yes. Yes, sir, okay, I do. Well, I'll expect you back in the office day after tomorrow, at the latest. Do you understand? Yeah. Got it. Okay. What's your emergency? Someone is dead. What happened? Hello, sir. Are you still there? Sir? Yes. I need you to stay on the line, please. What happened? Can you trace this call? Yes, we've already dispatched units. Now, please, sir, I need you to tell me what happened. Hello, sir? Someone's been murdered. Sir? Hello, sir? calls about you from the underwriters all morning. I apologize for getting you involved. Now they're gonna start digging into everything. The underwriters, God damn it, Georgie! How about a donut? You think that this is gonna make shit bitter between us? You are so screwed. I am not going down with you, Georgie. Why couldn't you just follow the chain of command? A girl is dead, murdered, and I was doing my civic duty. And I will continue probing into this matter, and I was hoping I could get your help. I don't understand you. You got a good job, good benefits, and I can imagine the kind of money a guy like you is pulling in. Why the hell do you want to fuck that up? You know, this is bad news for you. And I am not going down with you, Georgie. Sorry. Look, I don't know why I'm, I'm the errand boy here. Probably because they want to let me know that I'm implicated. But the underwriters want you to turn in your company credit card and head back on the next budget flight to Iowa. Hey, Georgie, you better do what they say. 
where things could become unfavorable. Here you go, here you go. No hard feelings, okay? So I guess you heard, huh? I guess you heard, right, Georgie? Georgie? I mean, Jorgensen, Jorgensen, you heard about the buyout. You heard about the buyout, right, Jorgensen? No. What? Buyout. I think the truth has been bought out by some hedge fund, but, but, but we don't know which one. Do you know anything about that? Are jobs in jeopardy? Do you know anything about that? Have I been downsized? You did a good work for me at the home office. Here's my card. Here you go, sir. Okay, sure. I'm sure it's, it's nothing. I'm sure everything will be fine. But you're upper management, and we have a history together, you and me. So if you could just put in a good word for the SoCal division, me in particular. Jorgensen! Jorgensen, please! I got the French crawler creeps that you really like! Jorgensen!
this is Bob. Bob, this is Jorgensen. Jorgensen, where the hell are you? It's code blue over here at the home office. Things are all mixed up. What happened? Hostile takeover engineered by the underwriters. At least that's what I've been told. I've got my suspicions, but God damn it, it's hard to tell. Well, if it's all the same by you, I'm going to stick it out here until no things way, are Jordan, worked out. No way, Jordan. You were supposed to be back here today. Where the hell are you? Los Angeles. You're still in that rat's nest. Why the hell would anybody want to stay out there? Come back to the amber waves of grain and the rolling green hills. Homemade apple pie, for fuck's sake. I don't think so, Bob. Something is cosmically wrong with these claims, and I'm starting to think that we may Jordan, be involved. Stop thinking above your pay grade. Actually, after the shit clears, you may not even have a pay grade. But listen, you can always come back and work for the railroad. I've actually already placed my resume. I can do that for you if you like. No, You're probably thanks. right. Working for Burton Coles shouldn't be that bad. That is, if you make the cut. What? I said if you make the cut. That Janetsky thing, it's still a feather in your cap. At least you got no. that going. Burton what? Burton Coles. It's the hedge fund. The front, the flag the underwriters are using. Burton Coles. Never mind. Seats by the end of the week. Bob, I'm going to have to get back to you on that. I thought that was you. But then again, who else would be hanging, hanging out at the beach, playing with 10-foot aluminum poles? That was a gnarly beverage you gave me the other day, and then just left me there? That was kind of fucked up. So what brings you to the beach? Huh? Have you seen this? The address on the invitation leads to right here. The Tsunami Beach Club. Hey! Do you know if this club used to be here? There used to be a club. A nice big club. And what happened to it? not here anymore. It's not here anymore? No. It just uh, stood up and walked away. It just got up and walked away. It just walked away? Yeah. <laughs> walked away. Yeah. I know what this is. You have no idea what this is. Really? So, are you still working for Burton Coles? Listen to me. Whatever you did, or whatever you're doing now, is hurting people. Do you understand that? And you need to tell me how to stop whatever it is you started with this bullshit! How can you tell the ocean to stop coughing up a starfish?
door. Why? What do you need this for? You can't stop this. Come on, bring the ball here. Why? Just bring it. Here. Why? <coughs> Give it to me. Give me the pot. <laughs> the bees, the fifth dimension juggernaut, care not, want not, they're unknowable. They decide, not you. It's yes or no. It's in their presence, it's yes or no, that's all we can comprehend. Yes, you can bring more blood for the washing and kill the rest. Unless... Unless what? The reverberations and the harmonics should be exact between each space. Sometimes it's not. You got to change the pitch. Come here. Hold it. Ready. Stand over there, I'll show you. The schism of infinite knowledge and power was not meant for the human eyes. It will destroy your mind. Shouldn't there be, like, more actual science and measurements involved? I mean, you got the drill, the mental disposition of a cat in a brick shithouse, not to mention illicit hallucinogens! And to think, I was almost buying your bullshit. You're going away for a long time, old man. Yes, this is an emergency. I've cornered a murderer. About 3,400 PCH. Correct. Is he armed? He has a drill and an unreasonable amount of aluminum poles. Am I in danger? insurance man, right? Yeah. You people are unbelievable. You got a nice signature. You're a troublemaker, Mr. Jorgensen. People call me Jorgensen. Jorgensen, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave these people alone. They have been through enough. I couldn't agree with you more, but I think something is going on here. 
so. So, how about that cup of coffee? Don't drink the stuff. But I like whiskey and I get off at 10. the brutal brain surgery? I have no idea. What do you know about the Humber? I, I found this on a dead girl. Her lobotomy didn't turn out very well. Do you recognize that? Is that why you asked me out? To pump me for information about the house? No. Or maybe a little bit. I like you. I do like you. doing this. Sure, on a rush ship, this gets kind of pricey. Yeah, I need to get this back to Iowa as soon as possible. All right, we'll overnighter. You got anything perishable or fragile in there? Beat the hell out of it, I don't care. You want insurance? Signatures? No. No insurance. Just make sure it gets there, okay? All right. What are you doing here? Jordanson. I need your 
voice recorder and your receipts. You're being audited. Jorgens, you're a white collar employee. What the hell are you doing? Do you know what this is? This is the gun that, if not for an act of God, would have killed me last night. It was his second attempt at killing me. Well, that's the price you pay for living in a god-awful place like this. It's a tough town, Jorgensen. Now put down the gun. You really came out here just to audit me. Well, I also wanted to see the fabled L.A. traffic for myself. Burton Coles is making some serious cuts. My middle management is gone. I gotta do the field reports by myself. When did you start packing heat? It's not mine. Burton Coles sent a man to kill me after I went after the hump. What? I tendered my resignation, Bob. I no longer work for you. You may not care about your 401k, but God damn it, I do. I need your receipts and your VR right now. The VR is somewhere in the Tahunga wash. Just take it out of my severance package. You've been using your personal funds out here, haven't you? Bob, put away all your mantras, slogans, mumbo jumbo, and misplaced trust in corporate America for one second and hear me out. Burton Coles hired a man to kill me. He almost did. Twice. Now, how much is IO Mutual worth? Bottom line. Billions and billions. A hefty nab for a hedge fund with unscrupulous acquisition methods. Bankrupt it and buy it back at a lower stock price. The Human Urban Management Project, subsidized in part by Burton Coles. It was a huge loss for them when the state turned down stacking vagabonds into higher dimensions. But I don't think they gave up on the technology. They're using it to bankrupt Ohio Mutual. You're a straight arrow, Jorgensen. But I'm not buying it. Pack it up. We're going back to Iowa. Business has become personal, okay? I can't go back. Not yet. How long are you in town? I catch the last flight out. Come with me, I need to show you something. Someday someone you know is going to end up at the Tsunami Beach Club. But then what will you do? I don't know. 
don't know. Different address. The fucking different address. I don't know how he's doing it, but he's changing it. It's him, I know it's him. Who? Dr. Isaac Pianca. He did this to her. Now I'm gonna kill him. Do you want to just wait? Is he covered? Heavily, I'm guessing. Cost benefit analysis says yes. If you have one good bone in your body, blow the lid off this thing, all right? Is a priest coming? I called him. He should be here soon. Just shows up with a hole in his head. What did he do again? It's so sad. I hope he doesn't get dragged down to hell looking like that. No. No, he's a good man. Thank you.